Hey, how's it going guys? Bob from Bobots Trains. If you've landed here via a YouTube search for electronics, understand that this is just a small follow-up video for my model railroader friends. So we sometimes we just want to play around with things and not worry that every word is specifically correct in the electronics field. So if you see I did something wrong here, don't attack me. Just write a comment below and be nice about it. Okay, so this is a follow-up video for where I converted my MTH warehouse to LEDs. And I've mocked up a similar circuit here so that we can investigate it. Now, if you'll remember, my power supply was 12 volts DC. So let's trace the circuit. Positive 12 volts comes in, comes over and down through a resistor, in this case, a 120 ohm resistor, across to the positive side of the first LED, and then out of the negative side to the positive side of LED2, out of the negative side to the positive side of LED3, out of the negative side and back up to negative. That's my series circuit that I have inside my building. Now this is showing full brightness right here of these three LEDs as allowed by the resistor. Now the reason this is covered up is because I've added a component to the circuit. Now let's trace this circuit, 12 volts in through the resistor and then through the LEDs in a series fashion, just like on the other circuit and back up. But I've added this trimmer pot. Now this is a 5K ohm half watt trimmer pot. And I'll show you a closer picture here what they look like. Now they have three leads on them, and if you just attach one wire to one of the outside leads and one to the wiper lead in the middle, it'll act as a rheostat. So it'll act like a variable resistor and allow us to trim down some of the voltage. Here's a schematic of my original circuit. And then the updated schematic with the trimmer pot in place. Now wired in series in my circuit, what they allow me to do is adjust the voltage or trim down the voltage so that my LEDs will get dimmer. Now they don't go completely out. I'll hit the lights here and show you. There's still voltage flowing through them at this point. So what I wanted to show is that when the trimmers turn the whole way up, the brightness of the LEDs is similar to not having the trimmer in there at all. If you turn it the other way, it trims down the voltage going through the circuit. Now let's check some things out with our multimeter. Okay, I got my multimeter hooked up. If we come straight in from the power supply on this side of the resistor, we get 12 volts as expected. If we go on the other side of the resistor, we'll get 9.6 volts roughly, which divided by 3 conveniently works out to about 3.2 volts per LED. Now if I measure voltage across the three LEDs and I trim down the pot, see we start reducing the voltage flowing through the circuit. And the LEDs are getting dimmer because of it. So I'm able to drop down to about that voltage with the value of the pot that I've installed. Now I've moved my test leads to check the voltage across one LED. Remember that 3.2 volts? forward voltage of an LED, well there it is. And I can trim it down to about 2.6 and the LEDs dim because of it. And back up to the 3.2. Now let's check the current. So going through the three LEDs, 
the current flowing through all three of them combined in that circuit is about 20 milliamps. It's hovering around 20 milliamps, which is correct. Then if we trim this down, the current seems to drop rapidly, even with a little change in the pot, almost down to nothing. Now understand, I'm not schooled in electronics, so I didn't exactly know what to expect here. Maybe uh, LEDs don't drop linearly in current when you drop the voltage, or maybe the pot's not linear. But I'm not getting too much into that because I'll be corrected, I'm sure. Anyway, 20 milliamp draw when it's cranked up is correct. So for our purposes here, what I wanted to point out was that the original circuit with a resistor will give the same brightness as the modified circuit with the same resistor if you keep the trimmer turned the whole way up. You're just trimming down the voltage to dim the LEDs. So I hope this has been helpful to you guys. Hopefully you can use it in some of your future projects. And thanks for watching.